What is the fat man doing across the road? Doing across the road, oh, doing across the road. Oh, tell me, what is the fat man doing across the road? And how can his wife just sit and watch him? Why doesn't the fat man turn the lights down low, get his ass up off the floor, and go and mind the store? Oh, tell me, what is the fat man doing across the road? Hmm? He's chewing on his toast, bop, bop. He really seems quite happy with his foot stuck in his face. I can see him very clearly from where I'm standing in my place. We've been watching for one hour, and now our fried eggs are on fire. Fire! Whoa! So anyway, that was my beyond fantastic uh, rendition of What is the Fat Man Doing Across the Road from The Kids in the Hall, which is the only song from them that I have memorized. I know, I'm horrible. <laughs> but I fulfilled Jess's challenge. So I've been trying all fucking day to get this thing down, but you're just going to have to deal with my alfalfa for however long it lasts. So sorry about that. So this week's theme is opinions on baby making. And I'm going to sum up my opinion on that with this. Sex, yes. Babies, fuck, no. Have you ever been on an airplane and you're trying to land and your ears are in pain? And of course, there's a stupid fucking baby whose ears are in pain too. Because some of thought it was a good idea to bring their fucking baby on vacation even though the fucking baby's not going to remember a damn fucking thing. So anyway, the baby's crying and crying and crying because his ears hurt, which of course makes your ears hurt even more. So all you want to do is just grab that kid away from its mother and just bash its head into the steel railing until it shuts the fuck up. This is the only baby I will ever need. If I ever get lonely, I'll just multiply him by a few and end up being the crazy cat lady, which I will be perfectly content with because Chip, he doesn't whine. He doesn't throw tantrums in the middle of stores because he doesn't get his toy. He's not a picky eater. He doesn't talk back. He doesn't have his own opinions. He just sits there being adorable and getting pet whenever we both want to get pet. Well, whenever he wants to get pet and I want to pet, I don't want to get pet by my cat. I would just be scared. Everyone complains about their kids so much. And so then when I say, oh, that's exactly why I don't want to have kids, they're just like, oh, but you have to have kids. Kids are just so much fun. No, they're not. They're not even cute. They're ugly little fucks. They're not precocious. They're annoying. They're so fucking dumb. Like, you know when kids say the darndest things, and everyone's just like, oh, how adorable. I'm just like, how does that fucking kid live? I mean, he's so stupid. Not to mention pregnancy is fucking terrifying. I mean, there's like something that's fucking growing in your stomach, crunching up your organs and, and, and taking all your nutrients and stealing your body's essence and energy. And then a full fucking human being who's almost 10 pounds is going to come out of your vagina. And it's just, it's, it's mind boggling. It's like, no. No, I, I, I'm not sharing my body with you. No. So in short, basically, I am very, very, very happy that Canada not only allows abortions, but they're free. Part of the reason I enjoy dating women so much is because I know there is absolutely no fucking way that she's going to knock me up. So my challenge is for Crystal, and my challenge is for you to do your whole video with something balanced on your head. I don't know if I challenged that last time we did these videos. Don't think I did. But if I did, oh well, we're doing it again. So, Crystal, have fun with that.